Revelio. Lumos. Hogsmeade, here I come. Revelio. This place has seen better days. Lumos. Enchanted candles. Wonder where they're heading. The candles seem to be leading into the Forbidden Forest. Treasure must be nearby. I suppose a picnic in the Forbidden Forest could seem romantic to some. Treasure hunting suits me. Revelio.
Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Rebellion. I'll fix him, that charm grinder. Sir, is everything all right? How kind of you to ask. The name's Ackley Barnes. And no, it is not. I'm plotting a sort of revenge against my ex-business partner, a conniving fiend by the name of Alfred Lawley. He cut me out of our herbology supply business, just as we were getting started. <laughs> Said I was too volatile to work with. I'll show him volatile. That must have been frustrating for you. Yes, yes it was. Terribly. I'm simply passionate about my work. Supercilious fool. He's passionate about things too. As I intend to remind him by relieving him of his prized possession. A venomous tentacular he's grown from a seedling that was to be the keystone of our business venture. I can't get anywhere near it with Ruth Singer watching me like an augury. Lawley's doing, no doubt. But no one would suspect a student. Hmm. How would you feel about committing some grand plant larceny? You said Mr. Lawley was your ex-business partner. What were you working on? I had an idea to train Venomous Tentacula. Create guard plants, if you will, that attacked when ordered. We hit a snag when one ate Lawley's kneesle. After that, he cut me out of the business, the short-sighted fiend. Why do you need Mr. Lawley's venomous tentacular in particular? Simple. If I have it, then Lawley doesn't. Ergo, I can launch my business, and he must start all over again. I'm killing two snidgets with one stone. What else is in Mr. Lawley's cellar? All of Lawley's herbology supplies. He has quite the collection. Fill your pockets while you're there. Or to slow him down for a bit. And I can get my business going, minus any competition. I'll get the venomous tentacular for you. Marvellous. I know a fellow seeker of justice when I see one. Take as many herbology supplies as you like while you're in his cellar. All I ask is that you bring me the venomous tentacular. Remember, I just need that venomous tentacular. Seems I need to find Mr. Lawley's cellar. Rebellion. Glad you came. Hello, Sorona. I received your owl. How are you? Hello, my friend. Did you ever find Lord Gog? I did, thank you. We had a good conversation. He sends you his best. Glad to hear it. I shan't ask for details of your little chat. 
And I'll refrain from telling you to be careful yet again. But I hope you will be. Whatever your plans. I... of course. Your owl mentioned you're needing my help with something? I do. I thought you might be just the person to do a favour for my friend Dorothy Sprottle in Upper Hogsfield. I've actually met Mrs. Sprottle. I recently spoke with her about her friend Claire Beaumont. She's lovely. Her late husband Aidan was a friend of my father's. In fact, I'd stay with Dot and Aidan the summers I waited tables here as a student. I've seen her a few times since Aidan passed, but the pub's been so busy lately I've not been as attentive as I'd have liked. I wonder if you might pop in and see her. She may need some help collecting ingredients for her supply of Wigan World potion. And you could retrieve something of mine in the process. A box, um, full of old letters and such. <laughs> Why does Mrs. Sprottle keep a supply of Wigan World potion on hand? Dot's a skilled potioner. She's been supplying travelling vendors with Wigan World potion. An ordinary precaution that has, unfortunately, become a necessity, what with Ranrock's loyalists disrupting the trade routes. Why did Mr. and Mrs. Sprottle have your box of letters after all this time? It's one of a few that I had when I was young. Dot found it when she was clearing out a closet. Can't imagine what's in there. Probably terribly theatrical. The ramblings of a teenage witch and her friends. You're welcome to take a peek inside, if you do find it. To be honest, I'd imagine it contains some lovely memories. I'll try to go and see her when I can. It would mean the world to me, and to Dorothy. Aidan was bringing the box of letters to me when he was taken ill. Dot can tell you where he might have dropped it. You'll find the hamlet just north of Hogsmeade. Please do give Dot my love. Alohomora. than Hogsmeade. Alohomora.
Revelio. Revelio. Alohomora. Mine now, damn you guys. Rebellion. Lumos. Hogsmeade, here I come. Revelio. What's this? I shall get that goblin helm back. Hopefully from your cause. Defender. You're the little sod that saved Treadwell. You are definitely one of my own. You will fall! No! Oh, can bring up. Don't try that expel your armors. What's that? Defender. Incendio. Just how many witches and wizards have you? No. It's shameful what you've done to helpless beasts. Revelio. <laughs> Abandoned long ago, no doubt. Ah, a 
Hogsfield. Now, where to find Mrs. Brottle? You can't imagine how inconvenient travel was before I invented flu powder. Wonder who lives here. Nice to see you again, Mrs. Brottle. Actually, Sirona Ryan asked if I'd come and see you. Oh, dear Sirona, a gem has been for as long as I've known her. She thought you might need help collecting ingredients for your Wigan World potion. And she's correct. My darling Aiden used to collect hawk lumps for me. Since he died, my supply has dwindled. I'm sorry for your loss, Mrs. Brottle. Oh, thank you. Love of my life. A bit lost without him. If you wouldn't mind gathering some hawk lumps for me, I'd be happy to compensate you for your time. Believe it or not, I have some with me. Oh, thank you. How wonderful. The travelling vendors will be thrilled to replenish their stock of Wigan Weld Potion. Sirona also mentioned that Mr. Sprottle was bringing her a box of letters when he fell ill. Indeed he was. I'd almost forgotten. I stumbled upon it just before Aidan died. He was hoping to go through it with Sirona over a butterbeer or two. Uh, those two were always like two bow truckles in a branch. Aidan took ill when he was collecting hawk clumps on his way to see her. He made it home, but I fear he dropped the box in the cavern. The cavern is in the hills just southwest of our hamlet. You can gather hawk clumps and collect the box of letters there. Sirona said she lived with you during the summers when she was at Hogwarts. What was she like? Oh, uh, goodness. Well, she was almost exactly like she is now. Charming, good head on her shoulders, taking care of everyone. I can't tell you the fun we had when she and her friends would visit us during the year, all buzzing about practicing charms. Talented group. Her friend Mirabelle was a genius in the garden. Learned it all from her muggle parents, if you can believe it. Do you remember anything about the letters you put in the box? Oh, of course. A few letters from some of her school friends. Some nice memories. I even included a letter Serona had written to me when she was staying with us. Thought she might enjoy reading it. I know when I read writing from my youth, I'm always astonished at how much I've changed and yet remain the same. Thank you, Mrs. Brottle. Thank you. I'll be here if you are able to collect those hawk lumps. I and the vendors I help would greatly appreciate it. Revelio. Alohomora. Revelio. Send 
Good finger. Let me also. Akio. Rebellion. Sold some bait. Some stuff right there. Can bring up. You think you're so oh. sorry. Oh. 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 Thought we'd forget about that goblin helm you nicked. I know all about you and your violence. Rick, you little cape flapper. Some of those wizards were friends of mine. around here can sleep a bit easier now. Rebellion! This must be the cavern Mrs. Brottle mentioned. clumps to Mrs. Sprottle, but I still need to visit the cave to find Zorona's box. Better have a look around. See about the hawk clumps and the box of letters. Good for you. That's all the hawk clumps for now. Mrs. Sprottle should be pleased.
Revelio. Revelio. Either I'll have to fight that troll. Revelio.
Revelio. Rebellion. I think that's everything. Sorona will be glad to have this back. I should take this box of letters to Sorona. She'll be glad to have it back. Revelio. Revelio. Sometimes it seems all roads lead to Hogsmeade. Rebellion. Come, come on in, come on in. Oh, not so fast. You need to tread carefully in here. <gasps> Venomous tentacula. Oh, I'm always thrilled when a young one makes a wise purchase. I can tell you'll go far.
door's always open. You be sure to stop by soon. Good for you, getting all those foul goblins a hiding. Hasn't been anyone as bad as Barn before. Rebellion! You don't turn quick. If you're stuck with a Dorian Core feather, it doesn't half hurt. Rebellion. Hello. Oh, welcome to Brood and Peck. I'm Ellie Peck. And before you ask, I'm out of a Braxton hair. The lot of it was bought up by a trader in Ottery St. Catchpole. Made me take it in person, they did. No care that I had to shut the shop. Apparently had a bad experience with someone shipping them hair for my wampus cat. Must have been someone from America, no doubt. Cos we don't even have a Mia. Anyway, what are you here for? Moon car fur? Derricall feathers. Always have trouble collecting them myself as the bird keeps disappearing. Cheeky thing. <laughs> Used to carry them in the shop, Derricalls. But people kept asking for their money back when they'd get home and the blasted things would be nowhere in sight. I can imagine that would be rather frustrating. There's worse. Trust me. Most of the suppliers of Thwopper Feathers may as well be living in St Mungo's. Not surprising, I suppose, the cry on those things. Oh, but such marvellous feathers. <laughs> Almost worth going mad for. Sounds like stocking your shelves comes with some hazards. Truer words never spoken. Used to carry beasts themselves. Good business it was, but add it up to here with parents grumbling. Not my fault if the little ones caught a flea of an easel. You should have heard them. No. <laughs> Best with byproducts. And I do like to make sure the beasts are safe and well cared for. Couldn't guarantee that with some of these prospective owners. Now, why don't you have a good look around? Stocks change all the time, and not just because they disappear. Always best to pop in whenever you can to get things before they run out. <laughs> Which they used to literally do. <laughs> Thank you, I will. Take all the time you need. And thank you for stopping by. A treat to have you here. What do you have for sale? Now, what sorts of beast byproducts might you be looking to acquire? You could never go wrong with those. Good choice, I'd say. I'll not mind seeing you here again. Consider yourself welcome. Does it get any more cosy than Hogsmeade? What's the point of toiling if it can be done with magic? 